here we have STM uh, 32 blue pill board and then we have uh, we need a STM uh, link V2 and uh, this is the device which will help you to program this uh, board so uh, next what is this STM uh, STM has a processor on the board which is actually STM 32 F 103 C T C 6 or C B T 6 uh, where uh, C B will have 128 KB flash here uh, there is an ARM Cortex M3 with 64 KB uh, or 120 KB 128 KB flash and 72 megahertz uh, frequency and we have um, uh, 20 KB SRAM and uh, two 12 bit ADCs three timers uh, with PWM and then um, I, I2C SPI uh, USART and USB and CAN and um, so uh, this small chip has uh, these many features and we can also integrate this particular board with Arduino but we are going to see how to integrate this uh, uh, with K and then um, uh, write some code and uh, um, test the board. So here we have uh, the connections which has to be made. We have SC-Link V2 and STM32 uh, blue pill uh, uh, where these are the four lines which has to be connected and you can see the connectors uh, here. We have a uh, opening in the connector. Uh, you can see in the picture and the markings are there on the, the device itself and which will be like this here numbered from 1 to uh, 1, uh, 1 to uh, 1 to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, 10 and uh, that is what is marked in this um, 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 on the device so you can see that and make the co connections accordingly and um, uh, we can get into the uh, um, ID and then see how to create a project simple projects so we have uh, project uh, in uh, K and uh, this is scale MDK of, um, 5 and we have um, project we will have to click on new vision project and then create our project here um, so I'll create a new folder where we'll mark this uh, like we we'll label this as STM um, test so So this will be our board test, the project name and then one. Uh, now we have to um, select STM, under STM we will have to select uh, STM F uh, 1 series and uh, we have uh, 103 series, under 103 series we have C8 or CV, minus here CV, so I am going to select CV, uh, 103 CV, then click OK. Now, in uh, runtime environment, we'll have to select uh, CMSA score and then we'll have to select uh, device. Under device, we'll have to select starter and then we have uh, standard libraries. You can go with register level programming or you can use the standard libraries which are available. So, where we can just select a GPIO and uh, now we can click on resolve and you can see uh, now um, it is resolved and it has selected even the uh, framework and um, once it is done we can click ok and now our project is created here we will have to uh, click new and save this file STM test under STM test, we will uh, we'll, uh, make this as uh, board test.c. Or you have other way to do this. We can simply close this. We can directly add C file and make it board test.c and add it and now we have under source group we have board uh, test.c and you can see there are certain files so what we have to do is uh, just build this project so so that we'll get some files generated here you can see and we have stm 32f10x.h and stm32f10x underscore config gpio and rcc so we will be requiring these uh, header files 
and uh, I have the code here. So you can see we have uh, the header files that is stm32f10x.h uh, and then underscore gpo.h and underscore rcc.h and uh, this is a function prototype for delay and we have the delay function then we have the structure reference which will be helpful to just access our gpo pin to set this uh, gpo spin sp uh, speed or um, gpo mode all those things so for that we will have to um, have this uh, structure definition and then rcc advanced peripheral uh, bus which uh, is the, uh, this is the one which has to be enabled for uh, clocking the uh, peripheral uh, gpio c here which we are using that is port c and which we are enabling port c if you want to use port a we can go with the gpio a or if you want to use port d you can go with gpio port d also so here we have uh, we are using uh, gpio c because uh, the led there is an onboard led on stm board which is uh, connected to pc pc 13 so that is, that is the reason we are using gpio pin 13 here and we can set the speed to be 10 megahertz 2 megahertz 15 megahertz so the peripheral speed uh, pin, pin speed and then here we have um, uh, gpio out, output, out uh, output with push pull mode and then um, finally we are going to uh, enable the um, um, we have enabled uh, the clocking and we have set the pin and the speed as well as uh, the, uh, it has been set to output mode and then finally we will have to switch on the um, uh, LED that is writing high, high to the pin and writing low to the pin. So we use uh, this function that is GPO underscore reset bits uh, then our GPO uh, uh, that is the base and then uh, GPO pin 13 where uh, it is going to reset this pin and we give a delay of 1000 millisecond that is going to be one second uh, and then we are again setting the bit same bit. So this will give you an on and off on um, uh, just a blinking on blinking on our on um, L, onboard LED which is there on STM. So this is what we are going to see, uh, see on our um, output. I'll show you that output. So before that, um, we have we have to set uh, the target configuration also. So we will have to click here, right click, and then open um, target configuration here under debug. Uh, uh, we have ST link, so we'll have to select ST link debugger and then settings. And then here, well, the ST link device adapter, uh, you can select the clock to be 1.8, which has to be set. And then you can see we have the uh, device ID here. And then you'll have to click on flash download and click on reset and run. And then click OK. And then again OK. Once it is done, we can uh, use this uh, SE link V2 for debugging or we can uh, use it to upload the code. So we have a load button here, we can upload the code using this. And if one more thing is if you don't find uh, the device under project, you can go to packet installer and you can uh, select the appropriate packet, packet import um, the packet which is required. Uh, see to that you are connected to internet and you can uh, install STM uh, complete series or uh, the particular device that is STM103 uh, which is required here STM F103, STM31 uh, F103 uh, C86 or CB86 uh, so this you can um, uh, get it from packet installer so once it is done uh, the project can be created and you can write uh, the code like this and then uh, you can set the manage uh, set the man uh, manage uh, this is like um, runtime con environment and then uh, write the code um, and then uh, set the target configuration and then go for um, building the final build so once it is done you can see we don't have any errors here it is zero uh, errors and warning and you can upload the code you will have to click here and you can see if, uh, we have got a uh, build output that is verifi uh, verification is okay and then application is running and you can see the output here which is display the led is blinking on the board so where to get these library function so i'll show you that here under um, runtime environment uh, we can click and select standard peripheral uh, device library if you want to use adc can dac whatever is available here you can directly use it and you'll have to select it and uh, if you can resolve and uh, finally 
here you can see we have a standard peripheral driver, uh, drivers framework and you will have to click this and you have the complete functions everything uh, explained here very well we have uh, stmf uh, 32f 110x standard uh, dri uh, peripheral driver, uh, drivers and then um, the ex uh, particular functions have been ex uh, explained and what the arguments to be passed everything is explained here so this uh, through this you can uh, try um, out other uh, apart from the digital ios you can uh, go with adc scan i square c now um, uh, you you and other features which is available in this device so this is what i wanted to tell you in this video we'll meet in another video thank you thanks a lot